Welcome to online classes children today in chapter number 3 multiples and factors we are going to learn about divisibility rules So a number will be divisible by 2 if the last digit is even that is 0 2 4 6 8 if the last digit of the number is 0 2 6 8 then only the number will be divisible by 2 here the example is 128 in 128 the last digit of the number is 8 so 8 is an even number so 128 will be divisible by 2 the next is divisibility rule of 3 the divisibility rule of 3 is a number will be divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. We have to find the sum of the digits of the number. If it is divisible by 3, then the number will be divisible by 3. Here I have taken example 213. Here when we will find the sum of the digits that is 2 plus 1 plus 3 is equals to 6 and 6 is divisible by 3 so 2 1 3 will also be divisible by 3 the next is divisibility rule of 4 the number will be divisible by 4 only if the last two digits are divisible by 4 if the numbers last two digits are divisible by 4 then only the number will be divisible by 4. Here I have taken example 1312. Here the last two digits are 12. So 12, when 12 is divided by 4, we will get 3. And so 1312 is divisible by 4. Here no remainder, uh, when 12 is divided by 4, we are getting 3. And no remainder will be there. Na? So 1, 3, 1, 2 will be divisible by 4. Now, the divisibility rule for 5. The number will be divisible by 5 only the last digit is 0 or 5. Here, see the example 175. The last digit of the number is 5. So, it is divisible by 5. The divisibility rule for 9. We have to find the sum of the digits if it is divisible by 9. So the number will be divisible by 9. Here see the example 1629. Here when we will find this sum of the digits that is 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9 is equals to 18. And 18 is divisible by 9. So this number will also be divisible by 9. Now the next divisibility rule, the divisibility rule of 10. What is the divisibility rule of 10? The, uh, the number will only be divisible if the number ends with 0. Here, see the example 220. The last digit of the number is 0. So, 220 will be divisible by 10. Now, the divisibility rule for 6. A number, if it is divisible by 4, 2 and 3, then only it will be divisible by 6. For example, here I have taken 4791160. So, first we will check that it is if it, this number is divisible by 2 or not. So, this number is having 0 in the last digit. So, 0 is even. So, this number will be divisible by 2. Now, let's check that it is divisible by 3 also or not. So, now we have to find the sum of the digits. So 4 plus 7 plus 9 plus 1 plus 6 plus 0. We will find the sum of the digits. Sum of the digits is 27. We are getting sum of the digits 27 and 27 is divisible by 3. So 4, 7, 9, 1, 6, 0 will also be divisible by 6. 4, 7, 9, 1, 6, 0 will be divisible by 6 also because it will, this will be divisible by 6 also. Now the divisibility rule for 7. Remove the last digit of given number then subtract the 
double of the removed number from the remaining number. For example, here I have taken 1274. The last digit of the number is 4. So, we will double the last digit of the number and we will subtract it from the remaining number. Here the remaining number is 127. So, we will subtract it from 127. We will double this number last digit. We will double this last digit and we will subtract it from the remaining number that is 127. And when we will subtract this 8 from 127, see here how we will subtract this. This 8 will not get subtracted from 7. So 7 will borrow from this 2. So this 2 will become 1 and this 7 will become 17. Now subtract 8 from 17 you will get 9. Then 1 then 1. So the, we are getting 119. Now the next step is divide the number obtained by 7 if it's divisible by 7 leaving no now we have to divide this number 119 by 7. So see here how we will divide it. 7 ones are 7. Now 7 will not get subtracted from 1. So this one will borrow from this one. This one will become 0 and this one will become 11. Now subtract 7 from 11 you will get 4. Now bring this uh, down this 9 down then it will become 49 now 7 7 is 49 right 7 in the quotient and 49 here and subtract it you will get zeros so quotient here is 17 and the remainder is 0 therefore 1 2 7 4 is divisible by 7 here we are getting 0 as remainder so 1 2 7 4 will be divisible by 7 if we are not getting here 0, so this number will not be divisible by 7. Now, let's solve questions from my practice time 1. Question number 4 is A. Which of these numbers are divisible by 6? So, first question is 36. 36940. 36940. Here, we have to check that it is divisible by 6 or not, 9, 6 or not. So, what is the divisibility rule of 6 children? If the number is divisible by 2 and 3 both, then the number will be divisible by 6 also. So, we have to check it for, check that it is divisible by 2 and 3 both or not. So, divisibility rule of 2 is, the last digit of the number should be even. So, here, the last digit is 0. The last digit is 0 and 0 is an even number. So, 36940 is divisible by 2. So, 36940 will be divisible by 2. Now, we have to check that this number is divisible by 3 also or not. So, we will find the sum of the digits. So, 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 4 plus 0 will be 22. And 22 is not divisible by 3. So, this number will not be divisible by 3. 36940 will not be divisible by 3. So, uh, this number is divisible by 2 but not divisible by 3. So, this number will not be divisible by 6. So, 36940 is not divisible by 6. Now, the next question is, sec question number 2, 63180. Now, we have to check that this number is divisible by 6 or not. So, we will check that this number is divisible by 2 or 3 or not. So, this number, last digit of this number is 0, 0 is even, so it is divisible by 2. Then, we will add all the digits of the number. 6 plus 3 plus 1 plus 8 plus 0 that is equals to 18. So here 18 is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 2 and 3 both. So this number will be divisible by 6 also. So this number 63180 is divisible by 6 also. Now the next question is question number 3 504379. We have to check that this number is divisible by 6 or not. 
so we will check it that this number is divisible by 2 and 3 both or not so the last digit of the number is 9 and 9 is odd number so the this number is not divisible by 2 now add all the digits of the number you will get 28 and 28 is not divisible by 3 so this number is not divisible by 2 and 3 both so this number will not be divisible by 6 also hence the number is 5 the number 504379 is not divisible by 6 now question number 4 question number 4 b b which of these numbers are divisible by 7 now we have to check that these numbers are divisible by 7 or not question number 1 is 438561 here the last digit of the number is 1 so what is the divisibility rule of 7 children first we have to double the last digit and we have to subtract that from the remaining number we have to double the last digit of the number and subtract it from the remaining number so the last digit is, is 1 we will double it and subtract it from the remaining number the remaining number is 4 3 8 5 6 so we will subtract it from 4 3 8 5 6 so we will subtract it and when we will subtract this 2 from 4 3 8 5 6 we will get 4 3 8 5 4 now we have to divide this number by 7 how we will divide this see here how we will divide this 7 6 are 42 we will do 7 6 are 42 then subtract it we will get 1 now bring this 8 down it will become 18 now 7 2 are 14 now subtract this 14 from 18 you will get here 4 Now bring this five down. It will become forty-five. Now seven six are forty-two. Now subtract this forty-two from forty-five. You will get three. Now bring this four down. It will become thirty-four. Now seven fours are twenty-eight. Now subtract this twenty-eight from twenty-four. Thirty-four. You will get here four will eight will not get subtracted from four. So four will borrow from three. This three will become two, and this four will become fourteen. Now subtract eight from fourteen, you will get six. Subtract two from two, you will get zero. So the remainder is six. Here we are getting remainder six. So this number will not be divisible by seven because here we are getting getting remainder as six. So this four three eight five six one will not be divisible by seven. So Now the next question is question number two five six two six three two. Here the last digit is two. We will double the last digit and subtract it from the remaining number. The remaining number is five six two six three. We will subtract this uh, from the remaining number. So here. when we will subtract 4 from the remaining number 5 6 2 6 3 we will get 5 6 2 6 259 now we will divide this by 7 now we will divide this number by 7 see here the division 7 8 za 56 then we will get 0 here when we will subtract 56 from 56 we will get 0 now bring this 2 down now this 2 is Less, uh, smaller than seven, it will not be divisible by seven. So we will do seven zeros as zero. We will put one zero in the quotient and we will put zero here also. So subtract zero from two, you will get two. Now bring this five down. It will become twenty-five. Now seven threes are twenty-one. Now subtract this twenty-one from twenty-five, you will get four. Now bring this nine down. It will become forty-nine. Now seven seven is a forty nine. Subtract this forty nine from forty nine, you will get zero. So the remainder here is zero. So this number will be divisible by seven. This five six two six three two will be divisible by seven because the remainder is zero here. So this is your home task, children. Do this and keep your copies complete. Thank you.